on the night when the Crosstown Rivals rocked the NBA with a blockbuster trade. The Beard is going to Brooklyn. They have no idea where their point guard is at. He's out having dance parties, doing what he do. <laughs> we thought we could catch him lacking, JLS. We thought, yeah. you know what? The, you know what? They got, they got some good news. They made a big trade. But we thought on a night like tonight, we could have caught him lacking. Shorthanded. Mm-hmm. Could have caught him off guard. But instead, they came into our house, drank all the liquor, <laughs> and then dragged us across the bar <laughs> on the way out. Ah man, it was a, it. It wasn't as close as it looked. Nah, but one sixteen one oh nine, the Brooklyn Nets win the Battle of New York, Act One, J. Ellis, in Madison Square Garden. You know what? Can we say, Jails? You know what? I'm gonna start with some good things. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna Reverse start it. with some good things because tonight the fan base was down and out, and you know, get rid of this guy. This guy stinks. I'm gonna start with some positives. Let's do that. Um, first off, I'm gonna call to the stage, I uh, uh Manuel quickly, Jails. Yes, man. Finished the game with 19 points, seven to 15 shooting, three is six from three. You know, the first it was like a tail of two halves for this Knicks offense. Uh, mm-hmm. We had no confidence, very tight, you know, just, just bricking all over the place. New York bricks were back in full effect. I thought second half they loosened up and really tried to make an effort to close this thing out, led by Quickly, who I think is continuing to make a case for starting at the point guard. Enough of the Peyton thing already. I right? agree with you. I, I agree. It, I, enough of the Peyton thing. Number in, two, enough. Kevin Knox. Kev is in the game. Corner three, Kevin Knox is a thing, J. Ellis. Shooting yep. 40% from three. 13 points on the night. Five or six from the field overall. Kev is playing an efficient game. The mm-hmm. effort is there on defense. I think Kev, until we figure out where where where, where uh, Alec Burks is, we need, we need Alec Burks in an ankle transplant or something. Let's get <laughs> Kev consideration in this starting lineup. Number three... Second half, RJ came on strong, got his rhythm back. Jail is where in the mid range. Yeah, rhythm nation in the yeah. in the mid range. So those are my positives. Julius was Julius. Tough loss. Get rid of Peyton, and the yeah. the end. Your turn. The end. That's end it. the show. Good night. That's All right. It. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Get rid of Peyton. Trade him to a contender. Maybe he'll waive his no trade clause. Maybe Brooklyn wants him. Jail. They might need a backup point guard. Who knows. Exactly. Yeah. And to expound on the quickly thing, CP, people was getting on quickly when he was shooting bad. And I was on Twitter, I was on KOT, and I was saying, I don't care. That's what I said. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if he's shooting bad. Because even when he's bricking, he's still better than Elf. Yeah. I'd rather see him struggle than see Peyton be who he is. That's right. Period. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a different situation from the OB Randall thing. It's a completely different situation. Yeah. <laughs> like, Alfred Payton is not making anybody else better but Alfred Payton. Right. Period. So, point blank, period. So, I'm definitely for putting quickly in the lineup and just having him being baptized by front. I'm with it. Yeah. Let's go. That that's how I feel, man. And again, it you know, it's not to it's not to pile on the guy, JLs. The problem is is that when your starting backcourt continues to struggle game after game and shooting is not their strength, there's only one guy here that's gonna be a part of the future and the other guy isn't. Right. So it's 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 simple common sense. It's common sense. Yeah. RJ is gonna have to work through it. Mm-hmm. Peyton has to sit. It ruins the spacing. You have no shooters out there. Every time Randall makes that play, he finds somebody in the corner. You're looking. You're hoping it's somebody else. It's Peyton. It's, you're oh, like, oh Peyton. my god. Or it's RJ. You're like, oh my god. But the two of them <laughs> on the court together, JL, is, it's just compounding the issue. It's compounding exactly. your problems. And so they had no. They started the game no confidence, tight. And again, it was more of the same. You got more of the same. Julius playing one on five. Yep. You it's know. like playing Russian roulette with two bullets, CP. It's yeah. like, <laughs> this is basically, like, who wants to play that game? I yeah. don't. Take one of the bullets out. Put Emmanuel quickly in. You just figure he's going to hit the shot eventually. Yeah. Good or bad. You saw he was in the gym the other night. Uh, via his Instagram, it paid off. Emmanuel quickly had a great game tonight. Florida was going. Yeah. Three point shot was going. Um, and you know, it, and it's, it's, it's he still feels like he could have had a better night. That's the thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I think I think the floaters were actually bricking in the first half. I, th- I thought yeah. that, I th- I didn't think I didn't like how he was shooting them. I thought he was he was taking a lot of ill advised floaters where he should have just pulled up for a jumper. Um, right. But he came on. He came on. You know, he he came on strong later on in the game. So I, I definitely like that. You know, Rivers. I had called for Rivers to be in the starting lineup, but uh, I don't think that I. You know, still early days, but I'm not sure if that's his role. I think I'd rather him off the bench. And be that microwave because in this game, JL, he wasn't even looking to score. He yeah, himself just, was tight. Yeah, it just seems like he's not naturally fitting in with the starting line. No, he's not doing the same thing. It doesn't seem as comfortable for some reason. Yeah. So I agree with you, CP. It might be time to put a plug on that and have him be come off the bench where he seems really comfortable being able to do whatever the hell he wants to do. Yeah, I feel like just overthinking it. Or I think I think it was a little bit of that. It was overthinking it. Second half, he started loosening up a little bit. But, um, you know, first half and, and the last game, he's been tight. And I, I think the bench might be a role better serve. But, again, we shorthanded. We need Burks. Need you know, even Bullock. We need some reinforcements here. But Rivers might be best suited to come off the bench. You, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Listen, Katie's Katie, right? We, we know Katie's Katie. Uh, yeah. they, this net team, though, they, they wanted to kill us. They wanted to kill us in our house. They came out loose. They played fast. They played loose. They were moving the ball. They were moving themselves. Um, but, you, you know, you, you can't get that support and cast even shorthanded. You can't you can't give them the second, third chances. You know, Bruce Brown, you give him 15 and 10. Yeah. Like, who's Bruce Brown? You get Bruce yeah, who's Brown. Who's man's that? Double. I didn't who's know man's that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys, you guys got to play better, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I didn't know half the guards who... Half the people who were smoking us, I, yeah. okay, I was like, oh, I met, yeah, smoke, met, yeah, from the Clippers and smoke, yeah. I, but it's like, who these guys just came off the street and started smoking us. Mm-hmm. When the second unit came in, I'm like, all right, cool, this is our time to shine. But the, yeah. the Brooklyn Nets second unit kind of gave him a little bit of a lead, and I was kind of surprising. Yeah, like I don't know who who this Brown kid is, but he just came off the Bruce street. Brown. Yeah, <laughs> they had Reggie Perry out there looking like Robert Ory. Yeah, yeah, Reggie Perry was in three. You know, and all Jeff Green rebound. turned back the clock on us like he just came out of Georgetown. Like Jeff Green yeah, was ready like, to go. Yeah, he be a Celtic again. Like, yeah, <laughs> listen, they they followed KD's lead and and they came in there and busted our ass. Shamit looked like he finally found his groove. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, glad we can help them in that, in that regard, Jails. Yeah, yeah, it was Shamit ugly. Was, Shamit was shooting twenty seven percent from three before he yeah. saw us. <laughs> yeah, it, it was ugly, man. And, uh, you know, Obi came in. A lot of the fans were looking for Obi. I didn't think, once they took him out after Peyton missed that alley where he should have caught Knox with a corner three, he forces an alley to Peyton. I mean, oh, to Obi, and it was way short. They took him out at the at the at that point. And once they took him out at that point, I didn't think he was gonna come back in the game because remember, Obi's coming off of a strained calf. He had they they're not practicing like that. Yeah. So I didn't think they were just gonna throw him out there in, in game speed. I think they just just wanted to get him out there, get him a run up and down the court and test out the leg, but I wasn't expecting to see much from Obi tonight. I was I didn't know what to expect to be honest with you. I I just knew I was surprised that he was even I mean, you know, clear to play. Yeah. Because what I've been reading for the week was he has to do he has to practice. Right. He has to do one on one, two on two, three on three, and then work his way up. Yeah. But yeah. all that he none of that happened. No, no, I don't even really had a practice day yet. So. Yeah, and I, I think that was I think that was kind of risky. So I I don't blame Tibbs for not playing him. I didn't expect Obi to give us much tonight coming off of that and and being being rusty, not really practicing and things like that. So um, it is it is what it is. But uh, again, you need a little bit more from Rivers mm-hmm. it, 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 with the, with the guys that we trotted out there. You need a little a little bit more from Rivers. You needed more from Peyton, and and uh, and you didn't get that. You, you got six to twenty one combined from the two of them. That's just not going to get it done. Again, Julia, Julia showed up at the gates, took the challenge, took on the challenge, took on KD. He went head up with yeah. him, did what he could do. Julius once again uh, seven boards, five dimes. Shells, he's doing what he can. Yeah, man, Julius is on fire, man. He that mid range, that little mid range yeah. shot from Julius is nearly automatic today, man. Yeah. He got to his spots. He's able to hit that with ease. Was even able to hit a few threes today mm-hmm. when he got into a little bit of a rhythm, at least in the beginning. And at the end, it is in four for him. Yeah, but, Julius, well, Julius today. but you saw them running plays for him because we we were such in dire need of of offense and three point shooting that then you had RJ setting up for Julius at the top of the key and Julius taking those threes 
um, yeah. early in the game and, and then also later on in the second half. So I thought um, I thought they tried to uh, defend Katie with Julius and, and with Mitch helping. Again, Katie's Katie. Yeah. You, know, you can only do but so much. But as a backup, yeah. yo, Noel is so hot and cold, bro. One night, you know, the, the <laughs> last game, he, he's David Robinson. And tonight, yeah. he's the Matador. Yeah, I don't know, it's man. Like dreams with Noel, man. He had like a play where it's all right, he got beat, but he hit he hit the ball out of bounds. And I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, Noel, that's what's up. Yeah. He hustled back, and then I, I didn't really see anything else from him. Sometimes it's like he's not even there, bro. <laughs> I mean, again, this, this game is not on Noel, just kind of going through. Right. Um, some of the, the, the players and some of the observations, but sometimes it's, it's like he's not even on the court. Yeah, where's OKC Noel? Like, where's that guy? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, do we need, need to trade for Chris Paul to yell at him? Because yeah. he's not doing doing the same things he was doing before, man. What's not at all. <laughs> not at all. So that's the result you got, man. 116 and 109. It was... It was ugly, man. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly in these games. Yeah, I was like looking down the bench to see if there's somebody who I didn't think of. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, put this guy in the game. Like, nah, they weren't there, man. They had my guy DSJ in the back, back, back. Damn. Not, not down the bench. They had him in behind the water cooler. So he That's was, he was crazy. with Iggy in the gang in the he third row, Iggy man. The yeah, they were, the, they were in the dark. They weren't even in the light. That's I'm curious to see what happens. I'm curious to see what happens when Frank is able to play again. I'm curious to see if they're going to actually give him minutes, considering how he left. You know what I mean? Like I, he left I, hitting. Yeah. I think he had a like, last game. He had 12 points, four for four, and then you just never really saw him again. So I wonder. What the I don't know, man, be. because the the way Tibbs goes with these short rotations, I think you know he loves Bullock. Yeah. I think Bullock is going to get right back in there. You know, Burks is going to get right back in there. Obi. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're going to have Rivers, quickly. So. It's going to be interesting to see where he goes. But there's Definitely. one thing that he can do for sure, Jay Ellis. Bench Peyton. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time. Zero uh, fast prick points again. Jesus. Oh, I mean, God. how many angry. times, how many times do we have to see him holding the ball around? Only to I settle can't. for like a step back jumper. I can't take it, man. Oh, man. It's, it's, feel, it's crazy, man. I feel, crazy. Like, I feel like I'm trashing the dude every episode. Yeah. I can't but stand but him, again, man. it's it's just that you, we talk about the puzzle, right? If if RJ's already gonna be a, a, a tough squeeze, you can't have two. <laughs> you can't have yeah, two in the backcourt. Exactly, exactly. You can't have I two would, of those in the best. Not gonna work. Yeah, man. I, I've said a, a million times before. You can't listen. The ideal NBA lineup has four shooters. Yes. Four. That's usually you know what, what you're seeing in these playoff games. Yeah, four shooters and and maybe a rim, a rim line. He's, he's right? got to get what bench, we have bro. right now. There's no <laughs> point. We've seen this since last year. Tibbs, come on. I know Tibbs got to catch up on film, Jails, but we've seen the film. <laughs> we've seen it. Come on, Tibbs. I know, I, I know he bone, sees film. Man. He's a I'm, video guy. I'm looking CP? for Jared Harper at halftime, Jails. It was Somebody. that bad. Give me it a is that bad. I'll sign Shabazz and Nate. I'll sign Isaiah Thomas off the bench, Jails. Trade oh, Peyton. He's, he's give him his wish. Desperate. Send him to the <laughs> Lakers, wherever he wants to go. One-way ticket, first class, everything. We'll put him on a private, we'll put him on Dolan's private jet so he don't get COVID. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First class, oh my, everything. Uh, Mile high club, anything you need. Thank you for your service. It's no <laughs> longer needed, man. I'm ready, man. Yeah. I'm ready to pull the plug, man. I don't even look at the minutes tonight. My guy had 30-something minutes tonight. I'm just like, eh, that's too much. Yeah. For what? <laughs> it's too much. For what? I don't understand it. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't understand how uh, we were catching up in the end of the fourth CP. He pulls yeah. quickly, yeah. and he's like, I'm riding with the hot hand. Goes back Peyton, to him. Who Goes had 27% from the feet. <laughs> what, is, what is the point, Tibbs? Please, Tibbs. Please. Please, Tibbs. Oh, My man boy. shot three for 11. And decided to go close the game with Peyton. Can't make it up, man. 